Well, hi, Providence. It's so great to see you again. I miss you so much. And <laughs> it's really hard to be on camera and not actually be there in person with you. I know. Hi. Um, thank you so much for having me. It's been a little bit, but yeah, glad to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you too. I'm, I'm, I'm really hopeful we can spend our time together today to talk a little bit about the, the struggles that you have had in helping our students around access to devices, uh, especially with remote learning and the difficulty in purchasing affordable devices. And mm. um, and I'm really so proud of you and in, in all the work you're doing with the Congolese Integration Network. So maybe you can talk just a little bit about that and some of your experiences. Oh, no, sure. Um, you know, as you know, um, yeah, I work uh, with the Congolese Integration Network and we support our youth and stopping them from falling into the prison pipeline. Um, that's one of the areas where um, ending a felt integration can actually help our youth to be successful and better integrate in the, the greater American society. So, um, and um, as you know, this pandemic has uh, shown uh, or display actually the the disparity that exists or the computer um, literacy level, I would say kind of the exist in our community. Um, and yes, it has been a, a really challenging time um, and uh, having to serve low income families and low income youth and not be able to afford uh, computers or devices. Um, I know we were running on shortages uh, of having uh, computers even for the student to start school. So we actually uh, rallied and organized ourselves with, you know, very restricted fundings, but trying to figure out a way we could purchase. Um, we did actually purchase a couple computers and a couple devices that we made available for uh, some of our students. Um, I know it's it has been really, really challenging and even them navigating the online school, which has been a really big issue. Um, so which really required our time to um, always um, jump in and try to support as much as we can. But this has been and still is a challenge in our community uh, for our community to switch and um, uh, into online services and online learning. Uh, but I know, you know, with, um, uh, you know, the help of mentors and people around and just community rallying to kind of try to support these youth uh, to make it a better experience for them. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we're still there, we're still pushing. <laughs> so Providence, um, you know, a lot of the work we do, we talk about the, the importance of trusted messengers uh, because that's how our community connects to what's happening outside of their home and day to day. And that's you, you, you are one of those. Um, do you mind telling us the title and maybe a story of when your, I think your device was actually broken and there was a problem and if people can't find you, we got problems. I know, I know. I actually had a, a big issue. Yeah, actually talking of uh, trusted messenger or credible messengers. Yeah, we, yeah, so we are, we have put ourselves out there for the community at any time they need something or for the youth at any time they need any anything, any advice. So we have put ourselves out there to just be available at any time. Yes, of course, not having a phone or having them to call me. Um, that's already uh, something um, which is a big issue. Uh, so like I, I had a problem with uh, one of the phone that I purchased. Um, and I remember that time uh, I, I didn't have, you know, enough money. I actually did purchase that phone um, from uh, somebody. Um, but then um, the phone was just working fine for like uh, about six and seven months. Uh, but then the phone, my phone actually had a crack on the screen. So I try to go places. I try to go to Apple, try to fix it. <laughs> but yeah, they couldn't fix it. And they, they, they just told me, well, you know, uh, we cannot fix this phone or replace it because of, um, um, you know, you didn't purchase it in our uh, kind of office and you didn't have all those plans like 
you had to pay Apple Pay, stuff like that. I was like, man, I can't afford to keep on just like, you know, paying stuff monthly and um, with all the bills and things. So I actually, um, I was not able to retrieve that phone until, you know, uh, somebody helped and offered me a phone or give me a phone because I couldn't purchase at that time. Uh, but yeah, so, and I relate with a lot of my youth and they always come to us, to, to the office, like, hey, I got my phone, my phone just cracked. My dad can't pay for me or I can't afford to do this. And we have to step up. And I feel myself, I can, I kind of can kind of relate to them because um, I have been there. And I understand where they're coming from. Um, but yes, those are actually, I would say last year, we've been able to assist at least 15 youth to just repair their phones and be able to stay connected with their mentors or stay connected with us, trusted messengers, um, at any time they need need so that they can communicate with us. But yes. Well, it this sounds like this is an issue that more and more people are really want to be part of solving their own problems. They do purchase and on their own devices. So it feels like this is a great time to re really be talking about that. Well, Providence, I think we're at the end of our time today, but you are so talented with your voice. And I'm wondering if you could just uh, use your voice and however you want to say goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a place in your heart, and I know that it is law. And this place could be much brighter tomorrow. And if you really try, you know there's no need to cry. In this place, you know there's no hurt or sorrow. There are ways to get there. If you care enough for the living, make a little space, make a better place, heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for the living, Make a little space, just a little space for you and for all the children out there who needs devices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Providence, it's so nice Thank to see you. you. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mia. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>